Hello everyone, it's Pietro Boselli here. I'm gonna show you something really cool um, that you can do without gym equipment, just with a couple of tools that you can get from your, either your hardware store or from a scrapyard. And in particular, today I'm gonna show you how to work out with an old tractor tire and a sledgehammer. So let's go and check it out. Here it is, my pride and joy. Got it from the local scrapyard. Um, it's uh, about 80 kilos. It's perfect for uh, sled pulls uh, and drags. Obviously, when it's flat on its side, the friction will make it really difficult to pull. The second bit of equipment for this workout is the sledgehammer. So this is um, a good uh, weight for beginners as well. It's 14 pounds or 6.3 kilos. And there's innumerable exercises you can do with this. Literally so many, I'm gonna show you just a few. Uh, for your upper body um, and just the combination of these two will give us like plenty to work with. This is the first exercise to warm up your shoulders. It's the shield cast. So lift it up, order, and then you go around. Second one is the hammer swipes. So you go up and back, up and back. The third exercise is the hammer levers, an isolation exercise. The fourth exercise is the wood chop. Exercise number five is the incline push-up to target the upper chest. Now comes the hard part which is dragging this tire up and down the field. We set the timer for one minute. The straps are really digging your skin.
So the last exercise is the pistol squat. So it's a one leg squat. As we go down, we extend the other leg forward and the hands for balance. All right, so that completes the workout. It's uh, quite a quick workout if you put sorry, if you put some effort into it, like I obviously did. Um, the key is always like intensity, you know. Nobody ever want anything for taking the longest. So come in, smash it, and go home. Have a beer. You earned it. All right. The only modification that I've done is I've added this hook here. Uh, bear in mind that when you're uh, drilling the uh, holes in the tire, you need a proper drill. Got it right here. And uh, make sure your drill bit is very hard so not a wood uh, drill bit maybe one for metal or uh, concrete because the tire is actually thicker than you think and in fact inside it has a reinforcement um, which is probably it has some metal fibers as well so you really need to go in with a lot of power uh, then you put like a couple of uh, bolts um, and you're done, you're ready to go. Also from your local hardware store, you can get like a tie down strap. This is rated 300 kilos with the, with the rated buckle as well. So you can be sure that it's not gonna snap on you and you just run it through here and you can do like a huge variety of exercises. Most importantly, the, the sled pulls. Another thing to notice is that this hook actually swivels, which means you can put it flat. And the reason you want that is obviously when you're carrying your tire around, you want to be able to roll it to destination. <laughs>